because I am now 28 years old. I'm actually 28 years young. Yeah, that's the reason why she quit OnlyFans. All right, guys, you're not the OnlyFans creator. You're not the OnlyFans model. Get a dose of reality once she's about to hit the wall and now she quits. But she's not going to admit that she quit because she basically is approaching the wall and she can't compete against the younger ones anymore. And also, after the three to six months, you know, that's when the money starts drying out because people don't want to see her anymore. Unless she's willing to sell her soul and do some more explicit content and put in the real work because the real work starts after those first couple of months. Because for the first two, like three to six months, I would say for the first two months, that's when people are curious. They want to know what she's about. So they start subscribing to her OnlyFans to just see what she looks like and what she's about and stuff like that. So she can get away with only posting pictures of herself. With only posting, you know, um, some nudes pictures maybe. But after that, people want to see more. Otherwise, you're not going to make any money. You know, like that initial wave of subscribers pays. Yes, of course it's going to pay because you get people to subscribe to you. They're sending you some money and all this stuff. But after that, boom. Now, we all subscribe to you. What do you have now? If you don't have nothing, if you just have basic contents, basic pictures, they're going to unsubscribe because your OnlyFans get boring. I did OnlyFans. I live in my truth. And I am ashamed at the behavior I've done. They'll sit there and say, I'm a proud sex worker. But they're really not. They're fucking ashamed. Because I am not. Yep. Yep, they are. Myron Gaines proven right again. 28 years old. I'm oh, hold on. Let's rewind that. Let's rewind that. She said, because I'm now 20. Hold on. Because I'm now 28 years old. I'm actually 28 years young. Yeah, that's the reason why she quit OnlyFans. Because she's 28 years old. She's basically approaching the wall. She's approaching danger zone. If she, could, if she was still like 21, 22, you know, 23... She probably would have been like, oh, I'm living my best life. I feel empowered, all this stuff. But because now she's approaching the wall, of course, of course, you know, she's losing the energy. She's losing the competition to the new girls on the blog. It's just so much work. She's losing the energy to put in that amount of work that is required to make a whole lot of money on OnlyFans. Again, unless you are like those, uh, you are one of those blue eye, blonde hair, or even just the, the basic, the regular white girls, you know. But yeah, you cannot just get away with, uh, you know, making normal contents, basic contents on OnlyFans. On this earth. And I can say that I'm ashamed. Because of a lot of different reasons. I can sit here and I can talk to women and explain to, to uh, younger girls coming up and things. And I thought it was cool. Yeah, they're not going to listen to you. Just like you thought it was cool, they think it's cool too. And you still think it's cool. But the thing is, you can't do it anymore because people are people like you just, you, you are approaching the wall. You know, you're starting to feel insecure. So, of course. I thought this is what I wanted to do. I thought this is how I wanted to live. But all these females that you guys look up to in the industry, that the, the media pushes you, they're all miserable. They of course, we know they're all miserable, but you guys never admit it. You never admit it until you're about to hit the wall or, yeah, something happens. I have no peace. They cry every night. They are not happy with themselves. They hate themselves. So much so, they get surgeries and they try to fit themselves to be in something they're not and they're never gonna fulfill it because they're not fulfilled on I did yeah, only fans. Yeah. Yeah, it's whatever man, it's whatever, you know. How do you come back from doing sex work? How do you come back from selling your booty online? How do you come back from that? I don't know man. You have because to do such things you have to reach a a certain level of I don't give a damn, you know, a certain level of um wickedness. Of, of immorality 
Anyways, guys, you get the point. These women have baggage. Do not save them. They don't want to be saved. It's not worth it. You know? Alright, guys. Peace.